U.S. Ambassador to Vietnam, Henry Cabot Lodge, returns to Washington to end his duties after 10 months in that strife-torn Southeast Asian nation. Appointed by President Kennedy, the Republican statesman is back to take an active part in the GOP presidential race. He is greeted by General Maxwell D. Taylor, his successor in Vietnam, and then Mr. Lodge faces a barrage of questions from reporters. He has some straightforward answers on Vietnam and his own position at the coming Republican convention in San Francisco. Now, Ambassador, there has been a, a great deal of debate here in the States in the past few days as to whether Vietnam should be an issue in the uh, presidential campaign. Uh, can you give us your views on this? Well, of course, generally uh, speaking, it's any uh, matter of public policy is uh, subject to debate. Uh, I don't happen to see how it's practicable to make this into a political issue. You expect to talk with Senator Goldwater at all, sir? Well, I haven't got any plans to do that. Mr. Uh, Ambassador, uh, if, if, if there should be a deadlock at the Republican convention, would you accept the draft? I am. I cannot be drafted. I, I did not resign uh, this, uh, this post, which interests me very much, uh, in order to uh, come back and connive at, at being nominated. I can't. It's what I said I mean. I resigned to come back and help Governor Stanton because I think it is a tremendously important duty for one who has given as much time and attention to the Republican Party as I have. So would you take a Sherman? Would you refuse to serve? Well, I would. Uh, I cannot be drafted. Oh. I, I, I would not do it. Yes, I, I wouldn't. I, I cannot be drafted. I can't put any more through than that. Mr. Ambassador, Mr. I don't think anybody wants to draft me, incidentally. <laughs> I, I don't want to be fat-headed. Well, you you, you still lead the popularity polls, sir. Well, I'm very complimented and pleased, and uh, that's a wonderful thing. And thanks for all the, thanks for all the people who, who support me.